This is an expired tablet. And I just took it. Will it kill me? Let's see by the end of the video. If you're an Indian, you would have seen one of those movies or one of those TV serials where someone tries to attempt suicide or complete suicide or someone tries to kill someone else by giving them expired tablets. So I've always been curious about what this expiration dates mean. Uh, I did not learn about it even after reading books like these. But recently I dug deep into medical literature and actually found out what this expiry date really means. And here's the complete breakdown. So first, let's understand what this term expiry date means. Since 1979, the United States Food and Drug Administration has made it mandatory for all uh, drug manufacturers to, you know, sort of uh, put this expiry date on all their products and soon all countries followed suit. The expiry date is basically an arbitrary date of about two to three years during which the drug manufacturer guarantees that the drug is 100% effective. Also, it is the time period up to which the efficacy of the drug and the safety profile of the drug has been tested during the clinical trials. That doesn't mean that after this point of period, it becomes harmful or anything. It's just that it has been tested only up to this period because if, it, if the expiry date is up to like say 10 years or 15 years, it would take 10 to 15 years for the researchers to study, to do the clinical trials they'd rather use that money and time on discovering and researching new drugs. Now, these expiry dates mean that a lot of these drugs have to be thrown away after passing that date. This is a costly exercise for places like hospitals, large pharmacies and governmental institutions that store drugs. So, in 1986, the United States Air Force asked the FBA to check if these expiry dates actually meant anything. They discovered that a lot of these drugs were effective even after a decade of passing the expiry date. Further, studies by Lee Cantle et al. from the University of California San Francisco School of Pharmacology confirmed these findings. In this study, the drugs studied were almost 30 years past the expiration date and still worked well. Recently, this study from Robbie Lyon et al. from the FDA found similar results. By extending these expiry dates appropriately, the United States Federal Drug Reserve has been preventing almost $800 billion worth of drug wastage every year. And that's in just one nation. Imagine in the whole world. So in conclusion, what happens to this tablet after it has passed through the expiry date? Not much for some time. You know, although a drug degrades in quality and quantity over time, it's not very significant for regular drugs. It is significant for drugs that have to act 100% properly for drugs like insulin, drugs like uh, chemotherapy drugs and higher antibiotics. But if you're worried if your paracetamol or Tylenol that has passed the expiry date for one or two years is good enough to heal that headache of yours, it definitely works. Maybe not 100%, maybe just 90% or 95% or 98%. Who really cares as long as it gets rid of your headache? Even with the expired tablet I took, I'm still alive and kicking and I'll make a video next week. So make sure you subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can watch that video. And next time someone tells you not to take an expired tablet because it may harm you, take it, laugh at them and tell them Dr. A said it's safe to take. Also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Not this, there are a lot of subscribers already. This is my channel, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next week. Love you all, bye-bye.